Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Well, I just got caught in a huge rainstorm coming out here to set up for this video, but it looks like it's almost done, so we're gonna try to go ahead and get this going. But today we are back with another video on the powder actuated nail gun. So it's been a little while since we've had this thing out and it's managed to impress me in literally every video that we've done. So I thought we would get it back out today and add another video to the list. And this is one that I'm definitely excited for and I think you guys will really enjoy it. And here it is, this is the Ramset powder actuated nail gun. This is the same one we always use and obviously these things are designed to defeat really hard barriers like steel, concrete, etc. So today we're going to test this thing on bulletproof glass and a couple other things that are literally designed to stop bullets because believe it or not these nail guns actually defeat hard barriers better than a lot of bullets do. This ought to be interesting. All right, so first up, we're gonna try the Bulletproof Jacket. So this was sent to me by Bulletproof Everyone. I will do more videos on this in the future, obviously, but this is just a really cool jacket that actually has 3A body armor panels all throughout the inside. So I'm gonna try to open this up for you guys to see without it falling off, but you can see that right there. It's got two of those on the front, and then it's got a huge panel across the whole back. So again, this is 3A body armor, which is rated to stop pistols up to a 44 Magnum, basically, and this is really good armor. I've tested it before, and it definitely works like it's supposed to. So. Let's see if our nail gun can get through it. All right, so before we do the bulletproof jacket, we're actually gonna try a piece of 2A body armor first. So this is not as strong as 3A. It's rated to stop like nine millimeter, 40 Smith & Wesson and stuff like that. Just gonna go ahead and use a regular green 22 blank for this. And if it gets through this, we'll try the bulletproof jacket. Press down. Blue straight through it. You can see that nail sticking out of the wood there. Went through the 2A body armor, no problem at all. All right, now we got our bulletproof jacket again. This is 3A body armor, so it's stronger than the 2A. Again, we're just gonna use a regular green 22 blank. I've got more powerful ones, but we're gonna save that for the bulletproof glass. So let's see what it does to the 3A body armor. Again, no problem. I don't even see the, the head of the nail, which means it's going really far in there. It is stuck to the wood though, so it didn't blow all the way through. But you can see, hopefully, that second nail coming through back there, the exact same as the 2A body armor. It's literally no match for the nail gun. So you can see that although that body armor can stop bullets very easily, nails are completely different. And when you send something that sharp with that high velocity into soft body armor, it just blows right through it. And again, that's not what it's designed to stop, but it's still pretty impressive how easily a nail gun can defeat soft body armor. So pretty interesting, let's try something else. All right, before we move on to the bulletproof glass, I wanna try this railroad tie plate. So these are obviously really hard steel. And just for a reference, that is an AK-47 bullet and that is an AK-74 bullet. And neither one of those made it all the way through. You can see they put big dents in it, but didn't get through. So it can stop rifle rounds, but can it stop a powder actuated nail gun? Let's find out. Now for this one, I'm gonna use a yellow 22 blank. This is one level up from the green 22 blanks. And I imagine this is gonna be much tougher to get through than the body armor. So go ahead and put my glasses on for this one. These yellow 22 blanks are almost painful to shoot sometimes. So, all right, here we go. It did not go all the way through. Holy crap. Look at what it did to that nail. Bent the crap out of it and it did not get through our railroad tie plate. For some reason, I thought it would do better than that. That's interesting. And just to give y'all another look at that nail. <laughs> That is wild. I've never seen that. I've done a lot of stuff with these nail guns and I've never seen one bend and corkscrew like that. You can see it definitely stuck into the plate. So it went in there a little bit, but definitely not all the way through. That surprised me. I mean, I knew these things were tough, but for some reason I thought it would do a little bit better than that. 
let's try the bulletproof glass. So really quick for everyone that's asked me to try the nail gun on an AR500 steel target, I can tell you that after seeing that, it would not stand a chance against an AR500 steel target because you can see how those rifle rounds dented that railroad tie plate. I mean, they're three quarters of the way through that thing. And on AR500 steel, they barely dent or don't dent it at all. So the nail gun would definitely not make it through an AR500 steel target. Plus it would probably break my wrist if I tried it. <laughs> all right, time for the moment of truth and the one that I'm most excited for, the bulletproof glass. So here's our bulletproof glass. You can see that we have shot the shit out of this thing. There's bullet holes all over it. Um, definitely been put through its paces, but this section right here, it's pretty much untouched and that's probably where I'm going to try to put that nail through it. So over here, you can see how thick this stuff is. I would say it's an inch and a half thick. I don't know if you guys can see those layers, but I believe there's five layers to this stuff and it's kind of unique bulletproof glass because it's technically not glass. It feels like it's made out of some sort of plastic and it stops pretty much every pistol round that I've tried. Rifles do get through it, but pistol rounds don't stand a chance and you can see all these bullets that have been stopped in this thing even shotgun slugs like down here you can see shotgun slugs do not get through a lot of pistol rounds barely even get through the first layer again all that we've had get through this stuff is like five five six and up so pretty good stuff and stops bullets pretty easily but can it stop a powder actuated nail gun let's find out all right the biggest nail we got is the two and a half inch nails but this is obviously more than enough to get through that bulletproof glass if it's powerful enough and of course for this one i'm going to use the yellow 22 blank again since it's the strongest one i got put my glasses on and let's see what it does wow straight through it So this might not surprise a lot of you guys as much as it did me, but that is freaking impressive, dude. Look how easily that nail went straight through that bulletproof glass. That's so interesting. I know a nail is completely different than a gun and it's obviously really sharp for one, but it's a small concentrated area of pressure. And with that really sharp nail, it just blows through stuff that bullets can't really get through, but it never ceases to amaze me how easily these nails can penetrate stuff like this. When I've shot that bulletproof glass with hundreds and hundreds of pistol rounds and none of them even come close. And yet again, the powder actuated nail gun is victorious against the bulletproof glass. That is awesome. All right, everybody. Well, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video on the powder actuated nail gun versus bulletproof glass. Like I said, we hadn't had this thing out in a while and this is a video that I've kind of always wanted to do. And I gotta say, I'm definitely impressed. So we've got some really cool stuff coming up, like big time stuff that I've been working on for a while. And I definitely think you guys are gonna enjoy those videos. So keep an eye on the channel for that. But hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.